in Israel. So the second verse of the 17th chapter of 1 Samuel says what? And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Yeah, don't you all worry about it. Don't you all sweat it. Y'all chill out. Just sit down. Just watch me work. <laughs> this is a kid. This is a teenager. Now, what does that tell us? That's telling us we don't know who God is going to use for our deliverances. Yeah. We cannot sit on the older of the, the senior sin, or we cannot sit on the young. We cannot just look at those that are in their prime. Yeah. We have to let God be the one who's going to choose who he's going to choose. Yeah. God can use whoever he want to use yeah. to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. Yeah. So David said, don't let your heart fail. Stop worrying about the king. He said, your servant, talk about himself. I'll fight. Uh -huh. 33rd verse says. And Saul said to David, thou art not able to go. Stop. Stop letting folks tell you what you're not able to do. You can do whatever you, you and God are big enough to do. And Saul doesn't know what David can do. Why is it that folks so quick to tell you what you can't do and what you don't know? And they don't know what you know or what you can do. But read what the word says. Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him. For thou art but a youth. Because you're too young. Now, look, at, look what he's, he's restricting David just because he's young. And what? And he, a man of war from his youth. And he's been fighting ever since he was a boy. Goliath has. Oh, yeah. Read what he said. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's shoe. Wait a minute, let me tell you my story. David said, let me tell you my story. He said, I've been keeping my father's sheep. And the father's sheep was precious to David. Yeah. Eliab, the oldest brother, if you read that whole story, Eliab tried to embarrass David. He said, who's keeping those few little sheep? Because David had left the sheep, tried to embarrass him. But David said, let me tell you my story. He said, I was keeping my father's sheep. Read what he said. And there came a lion. Come on. And a bear. Mm -hmm. And took a lamb out of the flock. And who did what? Read and it. I went out after him. Wait a minute. I went out. My job was to protect the lambs, the sheep. Some came and got it. I went out there. Right. Read what he said. And smoke him. First thing, wait a minute. First thing I did was just try to shoot him away. I struck him. But read what he said. And delivered it out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard. Okay, hold up. See, see, when you read that story, when it actually happened, the Bible said he struck or smoked the animal. And it didn't let it go. Then he had to kill it. Then the Bible says that in in the in the 36 it said that he slew both that lion and that bear. Come on, And he do what? And this what? And this uncircumcised Philistine. Come on. Be as one of I, I can kill this man. I don't care how big and tall he is, how much armor he has. Who he has out in front of him, I can kill him just like I kill a bear, and just like I can kill that lion. All right, all right. It's no difference. If God delivered the lion into my hand and the bear into my hand, he can deliver a man into my hand. All right, all right, all right. So he says, go back and read that verse again, straight through. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, mm -hmm. and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, mm -hmm. seeing he had defied the armies of the living God. Since he told y'all to forget all y'all, defied, disregard y'all, just forget y'all. He said, I'm going to take care of this for you. Read what he says. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, Come on. and out of the paw of the bear, mm -hmm. he will deliver me out of the hand of this. Somebody should shout right there. Yeah. It's no difference. Yeah. Whether it's bear or lion or whatever it is, God can deliver yeah. even out of the hands of this man. Yeah. Forty verses, what? And he took his staff. So now David takes his equipment. Goliath had all of his weaponry. David has used the staff all of his life with the herding of the sheep. The staff had a little crook, a hook on the end. He could use it to pull the sheep out of the mud. Or he could use it in fighting to take something and pull it down. He took the things he 
was familiar with. So Saul had tried to get him to wear his arm. But the Bible says Saul alone swallowed him up. So Saul was a giant himself. Saul was a giant. And so he could not wear Saul's armor, but he took what he was familiar with, his staff. Read what it says. And chose him five smooth stones. And he got five smooth stones that had been in the brook, that had been, the water had been washing across those rocks and smoothing them out. So when they sliced through the air, they would be accurate. And he took them and put them in his pouch. Read what it says. And put them in a shepherd's bag, mm -hmm. which he had. Come on. Even in a strip, and his sling was in his hand. And what did he do? And he drew near to the Philistines. And just like that barren lion that came out, he went toward, he went toward the Goliath, the giant. This was where David wrote the 23rd Psalm. Yeah. Right. Israel on one mountain. Yeah. Right. Philistines on another mountain. Right. David in the valley. Yeah. Though I walk through this valley, a shout out there. Yeah. Right. I fear no evil. Yeah. But thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff. They conquered me. Y'all better help. Now put cows up on the table. We walk toward that Goliath. In the shadow of death. Nine feet, nine inches tall. He said, I fear no evil. Y'all better help me with this. And when he wrote that song, it was prophetic. Because the devil, Goliath, began to talk. Watch what the words say. Read it. The Philistine came on and drew near unto David. Come on. And the man that bared the shield went before yeah, him. Yeah, he's got this man out in front of him with this big tall shield. And God and Goliath, he looks around and he sees what's coming at him. And what does the word say? And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. Yeah, he had to look around and when he looked around the shield and saw it was David. Now he wants to insult who they sent after him. Read what the word said. For he was but a youth. Come on. And ready. He had this little fair complexion. <laughs> rosy cheeks. Ready. Was it ready? The rosy cheeks. And what? And of a fair count. And light skinned. Read what the word said. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with stay? Everybody say yes. Because yeah. yeah. he had a stick in rocks. <laughs> That's what you throw in dogs. You got a stick in your hand and rock. Y'all better help me with it. How many y'all go walk? Don't y'all have a stick in your hand? You better dog come out. You, you show him that stick. You go reach for a rock. 